The word fabulous is perhaps one of the most overworked adjectives in the English language. However, I cannot think of a better way to announce today's guest without reverting to the phrase. My guest today will be the fabulous Satchel Paige, and I'll begin interviewing my old friend right after we hear this important message. We played a ball game in Kansas City, Satch. You were driving your car. We left Kansas City Sunday night, uh, rode on that bus from Sunday night until Tuesday morning, got into Philadelphia, played a twi-night doubleheader. How is it that you were able to perform day in and day out, living under the conditions that you were? Well, Jack, it's the only thing I can see that at, when we was back playing like that, we used to ride with our knees up under our chin and four and five hundred miles. I mean, couldn't eat correctly at times. and. Then we'd get out and didn't have time to stretch and jump on maybe one of the best clubs in Philly, and it'd be a one or two nothing game. And we'd done that for years, not only just one year. That's the way we did until you got in the majors. Mm -hmm. What is the most important thing to for a man to be successful? I remember you, uh, the great stories that they told about Satchel Page used to walk three men just to get a Jai Skipson to challenge the greatest hitter, I think, that baseball has produced. This guy uh, was fantastic, in my opinion. Uh, what was this, the challenge? Is it just a personal thing between you and Josh? Yes, we was playing in Puerto Rico, and uh, I was playing against Josh. I was playing with Sinclair, and he's playing with St. Ferguson. And he, I'd beat him that day, and he told me one of these days uh, his family was going to be at the baseball park in Gus Greenlee, and he named the whole lot of the big crowd people was in Pittsburgh, and that he was going to hit me over the fence. And so I got by the Kansas City Monarchs, and he still was with the Grays. And so we come up there to play him, and it was two out, so I, I walked the bases to get to Josh. Then I walked up and told him, I said, here's the chance. <laughs> what happened? I threw him three balls. I threw him two fastballs and one curveball. And he sat down, huh? Yeah. Well, that's the kind of arm. How is it that uh, uh, your arm uh, is able to stand up under these pressures? You pitched, because you were the drawing card in, in the Negro Leagues, you would go in and pitch two or three, four innings every day, uh, or else the people wouldn't come out. How is it your arm stood up? Do you diet? I see. Does that help you stay in diet, or can you eat anything you want, or are you picky with your food? Well, I got to be picky with it because I have a gastric stomach. I've been at it. Oh, what, what do you do? I've got a stomach that's causing me some trouble. <laughs> Maybe I can get an idea of what I can do for mine. Well, I started taking goat milk, and it helped me a lot. Goat milk? Mm -hmm. mm. Well, let me just see. <laughs> Maybe I'll tell my wife about this. Maybe she'll bring me some goat milk and see if that'll help my stomach. Sats, thanks a lot for being with us, and good luck with your career. And you're welcome. And that just about does it for now, fans. See you soon.